All right. This is what they see at CERN and Fermilab and all of the big colliders. They can see these two particles and they say these are the smallest particles we've ever found. That's as far as they go with it. We can see them as light, so we see them actually manifesting and see them actually attached together and glowing. So this is the white particle, white, red, green, blue, whatever color. And it gets big and small and it can fit through our accelerator. I'll show you that in a second. This is normally what a photon looks like. That's a normal photon and it consists of two of these back to back. Now these are nothing but magnets. That right there is a magnet. It's all it is a dipole magnet. That's considered positive, that's considered ne <coughs> negative. Now the two of them together, in a regular biomagnet, you cannot separate them. If you break two biomagnets apart, then you're going to have four of them. It's 16 or 30, whatever you got. And you just keep making them more and more. You cannot break them apart. But now we're down to where you can't get any smaller. This is the smallest particles that exist is light. And then the smallest beyond that is the electron, which is only one of these. So this is like two electrons. Nobody knew the dark part was attached to the white before. That's where the dark matter has always been hiding. It's attached to the stuff that glows back at us. We can't see the dark. It doesn't emit, it doesn't reflect, it doesn't absorb, it doesn't do anything. The only reason we can see it because it sits up on top of the white. You see it here? When we split them, see the white black sitting right on top of the white? It's not, it's not absor sending anything out, it's not absorbing, it's not emitting, it's not radiating. It's just blocking the white from hitting us so we can see it. Otherwise, you never see the dark matter. That's the only way you can see it. It's, although they can see that in, in CERN. They see the same thing in CERN. They see this dark matter, this dark particle. But they see it in just a whole pile of debris, literally, because when they hit things, they're hitting huge particles like this head on. We're hitting light. So they never, they're never they hitting like this, but both of these are made of the same big ball of particles. They hit them and just everything splashes everywhere. It's just everywhere, just zillions of things. And then they pick through them and they can find, yes, we can get to this point. But we started with this point because we started with light. So we started from here. We didn't have to go through all this big mess. So this is what we end up with, is the photons. Now, when we put it through the accelerator, look at this, this is really cool. The wave starts to accelerate and the particle pulls itself right out of the wave, just like a jet fighter. And at the venturi, it explodes and it divides. The black separates from the white. That's fission. When you break something apart from what something from something else is fission. When it comes back together, it's fusion, and it does it automatically. It automatically comes back together, instantly after it goes through the venturi. The white is just now all by itself here. All right. So let's think about what's happened here. We know these are the two smallest particles that exist. All of the colliders say the same thing. These are the two smallest. Here they are in light, which everybody in that community is, says light is an elementary particle. It's as small, basically, as you got photons of light. That's a photon of light. Now, again, deeper, they say they say two gluons make a photon, and that's true. These two are what they call a gluon, and they make a photon. So that's, that, that, I'm okay with that. But now we can separate the 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 electron neutrino from the muon neutrino and that's called electron showers and that is my friend the cat's meow when you can break that particle apart which we did and separate the white from the black which we did and then harvest that white right here which we did not but we would like to see somebody do it that has the resources which we do not and this would be the laser keeping the black particles out and the white coming in to fill the battery. White is the part of stuff that runs your car. It's the stuff that runs everything that's electrical. The white is the only part that does anything. The white is the glowy, pushy, burny part. The black just pushes. It just pushes. It has no, no swelling to it, basically. Think of it that way. These particles never change size, never ever. All of them that are on here are all exactly the same size. It's just one little ball and I can't account for it, but that's what a muon neutrino is. And when it's stuck 
to its electron neutrino, they're usually stuck together. When it goes on its own, it's called a sterile neutrino. And this one can get big, it can get small. And because it can get small, it can squirt through this tiny, tiny, tiny little slit. You can't see the slit here, but it's tiny. And it's a curved slit, so it's a venturi. It goes in this way and in this way. And it's so tiny that only the white can squirt through. And the black can't get through. The black is a fixed size. So the black comes up here, bang, 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 bang. I can't get through, I can't get through. So we'll get out of here. And it keeps bang, 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 squirting the black, the white through. Now, the black instantaneously grabs a hold of some of the white and says, okay, I'm here, I'm waiting for it. So it has to be extra blacks just laying, laying around waiting because it's this turned white. Now, this is nothing but whiteness here. That means it's nothing but electron showers. You see it, new, electron neutrino turning into electron showers, precisely what we did. How did these black balls get over here to attach to that white? They didn't jump from here over the top. So the only thing I can assume is the black balls are just laying around waiting for white balls to come along and attach to them. But normally they wouldn't separate. See, they normally wouldn't separate. This is a very usual, unusual event. The only way to get this is in their giant colliders or like what we're doing, or it, I'm sure it happens just by accident from other you know, interactions with light through glass or whatnot. But this is 100% acceleration, no question whatsoever. And this is 100%, no question whatsoever, electron showers and muons in a sterile mode, the black ones. And no question whatsoever, it's fission and fusion and they're coming back together. Where did the blacks come from? They must have been just laying here waiting. That's all I can take from that.